to uh, talk a little bit about the writing conference I just got back from last night at 1.30 a.m. <laughs> it was the uh, Las Vegas writing conference, obviously in Las Vegas. So I'm wearing my Las Vegas shirt, which I actually bought when I was there in January with my boyfriend, but you know, it's Las Vegas, it still counts. So <laughs> and it was my very first writing conference, so I wanted to talk just a little bit about my experience and how it went and everything. Um, and so first I'm going to do some of my updates from the conference itself and then we'll come back and talk a little bit about my overall thoughts. Okay. My favorite part because you see. So I am here in Las Vegas getting ready to go into Sam's Town um, and go to my very first writing conference, the Las Vegas Writings Conference. I'm a little nervous. I'm just now realizing it's been like a month since I've spoken to anyone outside of work or a business transaction. <laughs> I guess I should just think of this as work. It's my second job, right? <laughs> All right, well, here goes nothing. Wish me luck. So I just did my first ever agent pitch session and I think it actually went okay. I totally messed up what I had planned to say, but we talked about it a little bit and, you know, we requested that I send the first five pages, so I guess that's not the end of the world. I have another one tomorrow, so maybe that'll go a little bit better. I'm having a great time so far. It's been a little exhausting with all the people time, but I'm really glad I came so far and I've been uh, really trying to take advantage of everything, so yeah. here we go. So I just got back to my hotel room from the Strip. It's uh, approaching midnight, I believe. Uh, so, you know, I couldn't be in Vegas and not go down to the Strip. Uh, it was just kind of funny, you know, I don't actually really like to gamble or drink that much or shop. I just, I just like to walk around. Just the energy of it is amazing to me. Anyway, so I, I wanted to make a point to get out there while I was in Vegas. But also, conference-wise, today was a great, awesome day um, besides my first pitch session. There was also some really good workshops and some awesome first page reads that mine didn't get chosen, but I got to learn from other people's. And then mine did get chosen for a critique via email from one of the um, uh, other author editors here. So I'll be giving that after the conference and I'm really looking forward to hearing what she has to say. Um, and I think that my first page is in good shape after looking at other people's and, and hearing thoughts and opinions from agents and editors, but I don't know, first pages are hard. <laughs> anyway, uh, the conference is going great. I am excited for tomorrow. Tomorrow's the last day. Um, and I'm really looking forward to going to even more workshop, workshops and I have another pitch session and I'm trying to just make the most of this, even though I'm probably going to be totally, totally exhausted by the end of it. <laughs> Uh, so that's uh, the update for today, and I'll probably make another one tomorrow. Okay, pitch number two's in the books. I think it went okay. I mean, he had a, a little bit of uh, advice to offer about some challenges that my uh, premise offered, basically. But um, he did request a partial, so I'll give it a shot, and we'll see how it goes. I am done pitching now. Those were my only two that I had scheduled, and I'm now off to fit in my training run because half marathon training waits on no woman and then I will uh, go off to my afternoon panels and finish out the conference. So the keynote address just finished at the conference and the conference is over sad and just uh, wow the light in here is terrible <laughs> in my car. I just wanted to share a couple really quick thoughts because it's 8 p.m. and I have a five hour drive ahead of me so I can't take too long but I I'm just feeling very intimidated right now but also super motivated so I guess that's a good thing I am dying to prove that I can do this even though I'm not sure that I am pulling it off right now but like uh, like Larry said during his keynote you know you're always trying to get better the next draft is always better the next idea is always better the next story is always better and that's always been my mantra and I'm just going to keep down that path and I'm not gonna give up and eventually it's either going to happen or not, but no matter what, I'm going to love the writing and I'm going to do the writing and it's going to be great. And it's so awesome to know that there are so many other people out there on this same journey as me and they're all just people like I am. It's also intimidating because, oh my God, there's so many other people out there on this journey like me. 
Um, but I try not to see them, see them as competition because we're all just trying to be our own best writers and tell the stories that we have in us and it's never the same. So I feel great. I'm so glad I came to the conference. I have a couple of requests to send in and I'm just gonna keep trucking and keep rolling with what I learned here. So those are some of my um, kind of reporting from the scene moments. So, but now I wanna talk just about the conference overall. I'm really glad I went one. I had been thinking about going to a writing conference for a long time and I finally took the plunge and I'm really glad I did. I had two major goals going into the conference. The primary goal was to pitch to agents and to meet agents and kind of make more of those connections to the literary scene or whatever. I um, mean, then my second goal was to take any on board any tips I had I could find to improve my writing and my craft, especially as I'm gearing up to write my next manuscript. And I want every manuscript, you know, to be better than the last one. So I'm always on the lookout for new tips and tricks and exercises and stuff. Um, so I will say with the first goal, with meeting agents and everything, I absolutely achieved that. It was great and it went really well. Yes, it's definitely very different to meet an agent in person and to talk with them than it is to just send out a query, to, you know, screen to screen or whatever. And now as I'm preparing to send in the materials they asked for, I'm finding it's also much more nerve wracking to send stuff to people that you have met and that <laughs> might have, you know, judgments about that um, than it is just to send a query to someone that, you know, it's just an email. It's another layer. <laughs> Um, and then for the second aspect, as far as the craft, I found that one was a little bit less um, fulfilling for me. Just because I have been writing for so long and I have been researching writing for so long. Um, not that there is nothing left for me to learn, but there's only so many writing tips out there and that kind of stuff. And so I didn't feel like there was anything really new kind of presented to me at this conference. And so I didn't quite get what I was hoping for in that and it didn't really kickstart any new information for me about about things I needed to do or try. Um, I would have liked to have more chances to do actual um, feedback, you know, with actual writing. Um, we had a couple exercises where people got to share and I, I loved that. Reading other people's writings and seeing what other people are writing and getting a chance to share my own was really great. I wish there had been more of that. Um, and that's just me. Um, you know, the, this was a conference for all levels of writers and I think that I'm maybe, I don't want to sound like conceited because I obviously have not managed to put everything that I've learned into practice, but I have actually heard it before. I mean, I was sitting next to a lady at one panel who didn't know what an agent was and didn't know what they did or who they worked for. She thought they worked for the publishers. Um, and nothing against that lady. That's not the kind of thing you're born knowing. You have to learn that at some point, but it's just, I've already learned all that kind of stuff. So, so I felt like I, I maybe didn't get as much out of it on that, on that angle, but, um, but if you're not as into the craft as I have already been, that would be a really great starting place, I think. Um, especially because you get a chance to ask questions. So if you're confused about stuff, you can ask people instead of just when you're reading it on a website or on a page in a book. If you have questions, you're kind of just screwed. One, so the keynote speaker was Larry Brooks, um, who has the website storyfix.com. And I've actually been following that blog for a few years. I've always liked like the, the content of what Larry has to say because I'm big on structure. I'm always looking to find that those things that are gonna make my novel work as a whole because I, it's something I, I really struggle with. Um, but I always, to be honest, found, found some of his blog posts a little off-putting because they come across sometimes, to me anyways, as someone trying to sell me something or just kind of insincere and kind of gimmicky with like their, their bold and their, their italics. I don't know. It's hard to explain, I guess, if you haven't seen one of these sites. But, but that was just my feeling. But then meeting Larry in person, one, he was a super sweetheart. And two, when I like went to his panels and at his keynote address, the absolute passion that he has for this was so evident. And it totally changes the way that I was, I don't know, perceiving his posts or whatever. And, and there, there is no insincerity. This is something that he loves and feels so strongly about and knows so much about. And so I really liked that getting, getting that chance to, you know, to meet someone behind the screen because you can get the wrong impression from words on a screen. I mean, I know we're writers and we want to think that words can convey everything, but sometimes they can't. And yes, so that was good. And then he, he gave the keynote address and, you know, one of the points he hammered home is this is fucking hard. And it is, it's a, it's a long game. You know, most of us probably aren't going to make it or whatever. And 
and but but we can try we can we can always try and that's um kind of what i took away from it is i obviously love writing and i'm never gonna stop writing so why not try and make my writing the best it can be why not push myself to write a better book next time why not push myself to make sure my ideas is as good as it can be or my characters are as strong as it can be because i'm never giving up i'm never gonna stop writing and so why not push myself and be as good as I can be and that um that was a good thing to take away it was also a little intimidating because you know <laughs> it's never fun to have to face the fact that your lifelong dream is really hard to achieve and you might not ever achieve it so those were kind of my main thoughts over general thoughts I also wanted to share a little bit about what I did for the conference so I got uh, business cards <laughs> And before the conference, because I was Googling, what do I need to bring to a conference in like a panic? And so I just went to Vistaprint and kind of really simply designed these. Well, this is my business card. Sorry, I'm trying to cover my phone number. I don't mind having everything else out there, but I don't need people calling me on the phone if I have not actually given them my card. But um, I was really pleased with the way they came out. And then on the back, I put a QR code so that people could go to my website and check out a story that I have posted up there. Um, so I was really glad and I just carried, you know, a little business card holder thing around with me and my purse and I just handed them out to people as I met them and I was really glad I did that. So if you're going to a conference, definitely bring cards. And also it makes you feel like a real writer. <laughs> I have cards that say I'm a science fiction and fantasy author, so it must be true. So I brought a notebook to take notes, although it turned out that, so they gave us this nice skitty bag full of stuff and one of the things that they gave us was a conference book that you know had plenty of places to take notes in it but i had already brought my notebook and so i used my personal notebook instead because i love notebooks and i never get a chance to use them so i love this notebook i bought this like two years ago and it has just been sitting on my shelf blank because i didn't really honestly have a purpose for it when i bought it so this was what i brought to the conference and i brought to all the panels with me and i took lots of notes and you can see and I kind of this is a little new for me I'm usually honestly the kind of person that just takes straight notes but this time I tried to make them colorful and I tried to use um, pictures and little charts and stuff to kind of help me I don't know make it just a little bit more exciting and I was pretty happy with the way that turned out I took this many notes over three days, two and a half days. So there was a lot, uh, a lot of information definitely to take down and to take in. So this was, this was my notebook and I was glad to have it. And now this is going to be my craft notebook. So I will use this to take notes um, as I read other craft stuff or whatever. And then I, um, I had just brought a little folder with me, a little hard folder, um, which I didn't really end up needing very much, but I had copies of my synopsis in it just in case, which I didn't need, and um, I put some of the papers that I got from some of the workshops in here, but this was probably unnecessary. But And then, like I said, I really connected with Larry's um, workshop and his keynote address, so I had been, you know, like I said, I followed his blog for a long time, and I'd kind of like gone back and forth on whether or not I wanted to get his books, but then after listening to him speak, I definitely wanted to get his books, and so they had them there, and so I bought story engineering and story physics. I believe story engineering is the six core competencies and story physics is the six, I don't remember what they're called. <laughs> but anyway, together they make the 12 elements um, of storytelling. So I'm really excited to read both of these before I start writing my next manuscript. And so when I'm planning it out and plotting it, I can have a really good feel for the structure and what needs to happen and just to make it that much better of a story. And then there was a lot of different uh, drawings and giveaways and stuff. And I, uh, there was a, a jar full of pens and pencils and they uh, said, guess how many are in it and you can win something. And I got really close. There was a hundred and I guessed 98. So I won a jewelry set, um, a handmade jewelry set from a author that was there. So this was the necklace. And then there's a bracelet. Right here. So I'm really excited. I probably won't wear them all together because I'm not that big on matching, but they are super pretty and I'm uh, 
pretty excited to wear them. I love pink, so kind of a cliche. <laughs> So yeah, I am really glad that I went. I would absolutely recommend going to a conference to anyone. And I think it is super helpful to meet agents in person to kind of have a different different approach than just sending out crews because we all know how hard and terrible that can be. <laughs> and yeah, so the, the Las Vegas writing conference was great. It was a lot of fun and I recommend it if anyone gets a chance to do it. Um, don't know if I can go back next year because I don't know where I'm going to be living next year. <laughs> but um, if I get a chance to go to another conference, I'm definitely going to check it out. And you should too. So I hope you enjoyed my little summary of this. And if you have any questions, let me know. I'm also probably going to write a blog post about this. So I'll uh, maybe link to that below or whatever. So, and I'll link to um, all of the story fix um, stuff that I was talking about as well. So you can check out what Larry has to say. Okay. All right. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.